The one thing people don't talk about is how expensive it is to take care of your parents. What I mean by that is your elderly parents. When your elderly parents need help and caregiving assistance, why is it so expensive? I mean, on average, it's about $35 an hour for a caregiver to take care of your parents or someone else, right? These are the questions that we get all the time. On top of that, it's average about 5,000, upwards of $8,000 a month to live in an assisted living or memory care facility. And when you don't plan for that, how do you cover those expenses? Insurance doesn't cover for those expenses. You have to pay out of pocket for all those things. These are the questions that everybody asks. And so in this quick video, we're gonna walk through the three things that can help you prepare for this situation ahead of time. Let's go. All right, here's the number one thing that can help you prepare for when your parents may need caregiving assistance in the future. Look into something called long-term care insurance. So what is long-term care insurance? So long-term care insurance is basically insurance that your parents or your loved ones pay into monthly prior to when they actually need those services. So there's so many big name brands uh, that are out there, but you can reach out to a local health insurance broker uh, that specializes in long-term care insurance and ask them for different policies that you could present to your loved ones or to your parents. They will go through a check and see, you know, how are they doing health-wise right now? And then they'll quote them a price. Uh, so basically they'll be paying a premium just like you would for your car insurance. And then when you need it, which is down the road uh, to where you need caregiver assistance to come out, they will issue dollars that, that can pay for your loved one's caregiver needs, assisted living expenses. So if you're able to plan for all those things ahead of time, it'll alleviate. So if your parents are doing well right now, hey, that's great. If your loved ones are doing okay right now, that's great. These are ways right now that you can actually prepare. So educate them, help them. And sometimes they'll maybe be like, ah, oh, you know, I don't want to do that. Um, but you yourself can actually maybe pay into that to help them so that you know down the road when your elderly parents need help that they have funds to do that. So that's just one way that can help alleviate any stress ahead of time uh, when your parents or your loved ones need caregiver or uh, assistance in an assisted living facility and to pay into that. The number two way to actually prepare or to alleviate when you need caregiver assistance is to find out and see if your parents or any one of them was a veteran. Did they serve in the military or your loved one? Did they serve in the military? The VA offers a huge amount of something called homemaker services and respite care. Uh, so what that is, is that if your loved one was honorably discharged, they served in the military, then the VA will actually uh, give them care when they need it at home. So they have to go through a system and we'll do another video on this, but they have to fill out a couple forms and then apply. They have to go to their local VA hospital and then get assigned to a VA outpatient doctor. That doctor will then see them and evaluate them. But you have to have the right things to say. So we'll do another video that will explain the walkthrough of how to actually get caregiver services if you're a veteran. Uh, but that's one way that you can actually get services. Sometimes you can get up to 20 hours that the VA will keep will basically pay they'll contract with the agency a home health care per agency and then they'll send someone out so that is just another way if you're a veteran that you can actually get care and actually it's not out of your pocket um, but your loved ones will be able to then help you get that care that you need the third and final way is to make sure you have your family and your loved ones friends do all that they can to make sure that they are cared for so what that means is making sure that you everyone's on the same page like hey what happens if my mom and dad are sick can someone help come step in and help take care of them uh, can my cousin come and help after school uh, can all of these all the family members all friends can they help and rally around it takes a village to raise a kid but it takes a village to take care of the elderly and i think one of the things that we see um, the best is when families come around and help each other in times of need and so rely on your family those are ways that if you 
you can talk and have those conversations way before um, right, stuff hits the fan, then you're able to prepare well and make sure all those things are done well. And that is a great way to make sure that you are prepared and also your loved one and your family is prepared. So those are just three quick things that can help you prepare um, for when you are going to need caregiver services or assistance down the road. Um, but there's so many different options. We'll do a whole bunch of videos down the road, but I hope this helps you. If you like this, please like and subscribe and we will see you soon. God bless. See you.